Hello and welcome to episode 12 of my Minecraft Feed the Beast Monster tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on us starting an Applied Energistics network. Um, but before I do that, there's something I've been meaning to mention which I'd forgot to mention in the uh, tree farm episode and that was at the end of uh, each of where I've separated so you've got apples and you've got the raw rubber at, and then you've got the wood over there and you've got the wheat at the end of each path that they travel I always put a void transport pipe because obviously if you don't when the uh, chests fill up all the items spew on the ground and then you're going to get massive lag so just to mention that at the end of every path of where you uh, put in your chests so over here we've got charcoal always put a void transport pipe you probably knew that most of you but just in case just to be thorough okay to make the void transport pipe just to show you if I can remember where I put it that's here to make the void transport pipe you just need an ink sack glass and a redstone and that will get you your eight void transport pipes so there we are that's just the finishing touch on the tree farm what I'm gonna do eventually you'll notice I'm starting to make it a little tidier in here which I will do the whole base I'm gonna move all of this to the floor below because <clears throat> let's face it the basement is where your power should all be and I'm gonna move the tree farm further over there as well so it's not so noisy because when I come over here and it starts cutting it gets noisy so we're gonna sort I'll sort it out it's plenty of time for now though because I'm getting all these chests and it looks awful they're all gonna be ripped up and removed once we've got this applied energistics in place but as you can realize it's a steady progression um, we now have unlimited wood I'm now on another um, quarry so if we go take a look at that oops no not that one we go take a look where the oil was I've put another quarry in there so gathering lots of resources now because there's still only small quarries though it's still taking many many quarries to get a decent amount of ores and gems and everything that's where the applied energistics comes in because obviously can't keep storing stuff like that so I'm going to end up with hundreds of chests that are just totally a mess so this is where applied energetics comes in so let's make our base much more organized okay it, the first thing we'd need to build is starting over here you're going to need flux crystals to make flux crystals it's just simply a certus quartz redstone and a nether quartz yes I've been to the nether um, because I didn't I wanted to first of all just see find where the lava was because I didn't couldn't spend 20 30 minutes 40 minutes just digging never uh, just digging in the never to find the lava because as I suspected it didn't place me near the lava so anyway I've gone there and got a few resources that I need we will dive into the never but not yet so that's the flux crystal next you need silicon which I create with the certus dust and uh, micamite which gives me two and it also then smelts it for me as well uh, you'll need a quartz cutting tool which I just use these as I have certus quartz the most of that so just two of them an iron and two sticks next we have to make the advanced processor the advanced processor silicon diamond redstone and the tool and then you can turn that into two advanced processors using Micamite. The reason being is because it's using a diamond, it's expensive. So this I'm getting in abundance, Mickle, however you mimic. I'll just call that mimic might mimic I. That I'm getting loads of. So that's why I'm doubling up my diamonds basically by using it to make them. Next is the ME controller. That is where it will all start so to make that you need the flux four flux crystals an advanced processor and iron you'll notice up here i've also got the basic processor assembly and basic processor which is 
just the uh, easier version than the advanced processors. So let's grab the controller. Moving on to the next one, you'll see in here is where we create. I've chose to create the flux dusk. We need an ME drive, which is two of them basic processors I just showed you. To make the basic processors is you start with silicon, gold, and two redstone with your tool. Again, you can use Mimic. That's weird. That's called Mimic. Oh yeah, Mimicite to double that up as well, saving you. And it also smelts it because normally you'd have to put that in the furnace, and it'd only turn it into one. Whereas this gives us two. So there we are. There's that. So that's how we get that uh, basic processor. Then it's just iron, glass, and a chest. Simple enough. So let's grab the ME drive. The ME drive is where we will store our um, our ME64K storage. That's the minimum size I make. I'm not going to go any smaller than that. It's pointless. They fill up too quickly. So that's what will carry them, as you're going to see in a moment. OK, in order to make uh, to make that storage uh, in order to make the this storage 64k storage we need to start making cells and segments and blocks and finally the last one so it starts off with the storage cells the smallest that you you need to make redstone certus quartz and a basic processor will get you one of them you need 27 in total to make a cluster which is what you need in order to make the uh, 64k storage so 27 of them at a time burns through loads of resources but that's why I've got lots of quarries I <coughs> keep doing quarries Flux dust is just never quartz dust, certus quartz dust, and redstone. Yep, you're going to burn through a lot of redstone. Good job, I've got loads. Uh, we need a conversion matrix, basic processor, iron in each corner, flux dust, and never quartz and certus quartz. That gets you the conversion matrix. ME cable, we're going to need a ton of that. That's more flux dust, so a ton of them. Just that flux dust and glass will get us loads of ME cable. And next, you have to make an access terminal in order to make a crafting terminal. An access terminal is why we needed the conversion matrix and an ME cable, iron and glass. Then we can make the crafting terminal, which is the one that I wanted. Difference between an access terminal and crafting terminal, of course, is they do. You can view all of your materials, resources that are stored, but this, the crafting terminal, lets you craft. So, what's the point in having an access terminal when you can have both crafting and access? So that's why uh, it's all about saving on space. I don't want to clutter the place up too much. So I'll just have crafting terminals for now. Okay, so that's them. Next, the last one is where we make the storage as well all of the storage so in the last uh, bench was the cell which you use 27 of them like i say to get to the cluster so to make this next one up is a storage segment that uses four redstone three cells glass and a basic processor so if you work this out okay one storage cell is the the smallest size you need three of them to make a storage segment you need nine of them to make a storage block and you need 27 to make a storage cluster so as you can see the storage segment is that then the storage block will use three of them segments glass glowstone which is another reason i had to go to the nether and an advanced processor that then once you have <clears throat> three storage blocks you can then make a storage cluster like so again using glowstone glass and an advanced processor that then finally gets you your end product of the 64k storage which is just a single cluster three iron three redstone two glass so there we are and i've made two of them 
I shall be making a ton more. What I want to do is see if I can make the biggest ME network that I can. I mean, I want to make it huge. So anyway, let's go put this down. Now, what I've done in preparation for my uh, ME network is I've made a separate power source for it. So it's totally separate from the tree farm. This way, if um, this way it just separates it out. So basically, if any problems occur with that, that will keep on going. Oh, let's sleep. Okay, let's go and place. Now over here is where I've decided to have just for now until I rebuild all this base. For now, this is where I shall put it. Now the the one that needs the power, of course, is the controller. So that is the only one that needs um, power. So I shall place that just there. There we go. Now the controller will power all of the ME other ME devices. And I can either connect them together side by side or use the ME cable. So next I will put the ME drive. Okay, if I right click the ME drive, I can then slot in two of these 64K storage that we can see there. And here at the end, I shall put the crafting terminal. See, because they're all touching one another, they've all got power. Okay, so that's the start of our ME network. Now, if we take a look, of course it's empty until I start filling it up with stuff which will be now the next job for me to do okay let's come out of there now I've started off nice big amount of storage although that's not really big because as I showed you in the very first the second episode I go up to million storage which is where I want to be but that's still a long way off so I've got to replan. I want to replan all this base to make it tidier, to move the tree farm further away. Like I say, put the, the power on the floor below. <clears throat> the first thing, though, that I want to do is go around and empty all of these chests. Um, the dirt I shall leave till last. For now, what I need to do is gather all of this stuff. Okay, next thing that I'm going to want to make is I need to make fluid transposers because I need the power is not enough in in my uh, power cables. They are only remember 400 max RF, so I need to improve that in order to make many more quarries and just have loads more power. Let's face it, more power's got to be a good thing. Let's put all of these in my network. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do eventually, of course, is I will run an ME cable around and suck everything out of all the chests. So it's all done automatically. Now that we, I'm starting to build the ME network, the next thing I, I will want to do is to make, <clears throat> is to make, um, let's see if I can show you them. There we go, that's my next job that I want to make, tesseracts. With tesseracts, I will be able to suck up all the stuff from my quarries that I've been making into my ME network. Plus I will be able to go to the nether and start up uh, getting lava from the nether. Let's just show you what I've been doing in the nether. Hopefully I'm not gonna die. It's always a possibility. So the first thing I need to do is find my sword because we never go to the nether without a weapon. Okay. So let's go down here. 
Again, this makes a horrible noise, so I try to put it as far away as I can. And I have a double set of doors after my um, portal because monsters can roam into here and I don't want them roaming all in my base. So by having a double set of doors, if one gets in there, I'll shut this door and I'll finish it off so it doesn't get into my base. Okay, so let's now go to the nether and take a look. I thought it's only fair to show you a bit, a glimpse of the nether as I have been here working. Okay, lots of pigmen. Thankfully I've not upset them. Now, what I had to go in every direction looking for lava, because it was becoming ridiculous trying to find lava. And eventually I did find where the lava was. I'm so glad though that I didn't try and do it on camera because it took ages. Never been to the never before, not found lava straight away. In this instance though, I had to do a little travelling. One thing I do recommend, um, what I must do is in case my portal in around surround it with stone because the last thing I want is for it to get blown up. Hmm, it's dark down there. I thought I'd put torches all down. Oh, okay, I went the wrong way. Right, well, anyway, let's go back and see if I can find where... Oh, it, it was a maze what I had to do in the end, find the lava. I should have realised because this wasn't steps down there and I put steps in. Oh, I know. That's why I turned left. There we go. Back on track. I went all the way down and there was no lava and I hit the bottom of the nether. So that was no good. So then I decided to come all the way back up. And here is where the lava is. So I've got access to lava. Just waiting for me to start pumping it all back to the base. I'm lucky there's no ghasts or anything like that here. But to be on the safe side again, like I say, I encased it in stone. Just to make sure that my book can't get blown up. Although I should have probably used uh, basalt to do it. Because it would be better protection. protects my book then. Stops it getting blown up. <clears throat> so there we are. So that's what I'll be doing. The Nether. Um, finishing off my Applied Energistics Network. And then building some Tesseracts. And that's where I'll start the next episode. Well, I'll actually show... Um, first of all, before I finish this episode... I don't like jumping without showing how I've done something. Just to quickly go over the portal for those of you that have got rusty. Okay, so just a reminder to those of you, three down in the floor. Two, oh no, three. That's it. It is, no, it's two up. Three up, sorry. So three up either side and two above. Let's just show you that so you can see. So two there and three either side, two at the bottom. Then you just ignite it with the steel and flint. Steel and flint.
steel and flint is just simply iron and a flint. So there we are, and that's how you do your portal. So, okay, designing things on camera while I'm recording, like I couldn't have hoped to have built that tree farm straight away simply because I've had too long a break. Sure, I could do it in another world as practice, but again, there's so many components you're adding. That's why I tend to plan something out, build it, and then show you how to make up the components. And where I can, I will show you how to put them all together. This I'm going to move down, like I say, to the floor below so I can put other machinery up here. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, so that's our Applied Energistics Network started. I'll leave it there so and I'll show you my progress in the next episode of what I decide to do. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.